If you haven't heard, Bush Barrier is the next big thing in full driving. I bet Bush Barrier didn't realise when they gave me some of these magnetic protection panels how much I was really going to test them. You know sometimes you're going down a track and it all seems good, nice and wide, and then it gets a bit narrower, and then it gets a bit narrower, and then it gets a bit narrower, and all of a sudden you're on like a, a quad bike or a goat track or something or other, and you start hearing these noises. It'd just be nice to have a bit of protection from that, and I've thought about you know some of the options here, like just respray your car every five years, or um, get like a, a wrap done, but I reckon some of this stuff that I've accidentally caught myself on today, even if I had a wrap, it would have just torn it off and scratched the paint anyway. So having these um, enormous fridge magnets on the side of my car has a, a, a layer of protection, so if a stick does get like jagged on it for whatever reason, instead of like just going right into your door or paint, um, it's going to mess up the, the bush barrier, which of course you can just you know, if it's ruined, you just you know put it in the bin, go and order another panel again. So I'm, I'm kind of liking these things. So these things, they're like a massive fridge magnet. Um, I don't know, a few millimeters thick. You can get them printed any design you want. They've got some designs themselves, or you can get like custom ones made. And they're, well, there's a few reasons why you might get them. One, to protect the paint underneath, whereas my paint is already shagged, so mine is more like to uh, hide the damaged paint I've got underneath. Um, and this is like an alternative to, say, wrapping your car, like for business use. If you want to promote a brand, um, maybe you just do it on the weekends. You can take them off. Um, during the week and then slap it on when you go out full driving or it wouldn't have to be a full drive It can be for any you know on the side of a van or anything Look at that hill. come out to Puppy Springs to test this out and this place is notorious for bushes coming in, um, tracks start wide and then they just keep getting narrower and end up being like these goat tracks and we absolutely thrashed these bush barriers. You can see all the marks and scratches on there and yeah it's it scratched but it's better to scratch this than the car. We've been in situations where sticks have grabbed and ripped into it, um, like up here I'll now, I'll do it. When I first got these, I opened them up. They come rolled in a big box, and I put them on the car for the first time, and I must admit, I wasn't confident. I thought they were gonna, were gonna fall off. So I left them on overnight, came back the next morning to have a check, and you know some of the lips were up like this. Um, it's just because they were brand new. So I took them off, had a bit of a think about it, came back, and I thought, to get them to stick a bit better, I thought I might just spray a bit of water, like. A, you know, like a water spray bottle on the car and then the cohesion actually stuck to them much better. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not. Um, I haven't actually read the instructions, but it seemed to work. And then when the sun hits them, they kind of mold in like a, uh, like a pair of shoes, I suppose. Um, so now I'm really confident and we've been driving, well, had to drive 100 k's an hour to get here. And I was nervous, looked checking the mirrors the whole time, but they stuck on the whole way. I was, I was quite impressed. And now we've, this weekend we've hammered them, absolutely hammered them. And they've stuck on, none have come off. They're molding to the car probably better than ever because the sun's warmed them up. I think this is gonna be a very good product for us four wheel drivers that like to get out, but still you know, show a bit of respect for our paintwork at the end. Maybe it's a Y62 thing. <laughs> We 
went through heaps of sand this weekend and I was very interested to see uh, if any sand got underneath or if there's any scratches, things like that. So I'll peel one off and we'll have a look what the back looks like. So, there we go. Not a perfect thing, because there is a bit of sand across the top here and a bit of sand has dropped down under the magnet, just a little bit. And I guess it's one of those things. A little bit of sand on the back that's doing nothing compared to the absolute flogging that I got. You know, it definitely is the lesser of two evils. So, I haven't asked Bush Barry, but this is the plan. I'm going to hit him up um, and get him to do like a group buy off or something like that. So, go to Y62 Patrol Modified Action. I'll start a thread talking about a group buy for these bush barriers and we'll see if we can hit them up. You know, if we get, you know, some good numbers of people wanting them, um, I'll see if I can get some money off and we can order them for you guys. So, yeah, I'm heaps happy. Actually, I really like this product. I really like it. It's transformed the look of my car, which I was after, and um, it, it does the job. It's, <laughs> if, I, if I did have nice paint under there, it would have saved it. So thanks for watching guys and... Yeah, yeah. <laughs>